Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Let us see some MCQs on test bench. Which of the following statement is false related to test bench? So here we need to find the false statement out of this. Since it is related to the test bench code of Verilog, test bench is synthesizable is the first option. This is the false statement. Test bench is not at all synthesizable. So this is the correct answer. Next, 2 is to 1 max. Here is the 2 is to 1 max design and uh, this is what the test bench code is. Here 2 is to 1 max is designed in this way. Here S is a select line. Uh, when S is equal to 1, here you can observe S question mark. It is checking for whether S is 1 or not. If S is equal to 1, Y, y is equal to A will be the output. If F, S is equal to 0, B will be the output. So S is equal to 0 means we are going to get Y is equal to B. So with this implementation, we are going to get 2 is to 1 max. So test bench is written over here. And the question is, at t is equal to 0 time, the values of S, A, B and Y we need to uh, check. At t is equal to 0 in the sense, here there is no delay specified for this particular statement. So this line will be executing at t is equal to 0, at 0 simulation time. So S is equal to 1. A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1. When S is equal to 1, Y output will be following A. Since here A is 0, the output will be 1, 0, 1, the output is 0. That is why this will be the answer. And again here, uh, the next question is at T is equal to 10. At 10 time minutes, this statement is going to be executed. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. It means here S will be the same value with the previous assignment. Here S is 1 here. So here after 10 time minutes, S is not changed. That is why S will be 1. So with this 10 time minute uh, delay, S will be 1 and A will be 1, B will be 0. When S is 1, A will be the output. So 1 will be the output. Here uh, for this question the output is 1 1 0 1. So 1 1 0 1 over here. This is the correct answer. The next question is at t is equal to 20 means at 20 time minutes means at this uh, simulation time. What is a, b, y and s? Here s is changed to 0. So s is equal to 0. What is a here? a is 1 and what is b here? b is equal to 0 with the previous value and what is y he here? y will be because of s is equal to 0, uh, s 0 means it will choose b as output, b is equal to 0 will be the output. So y becomes 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 is the answer, 0, 1, 0, 0 is the first uh, one. And the next question at t is equal to 30 means at 30 time minutes over here a is 0, b is 1. At this time, yes will be 0 and because of 0, it will choose y as b. So, y is equal to 1. So, 0, 0, 1, 1 is the output. 0, 0, 1, 1 is at first option. This is the correct answer. The next question is on D flip flop. So, here the D flip flop design block is there with respect to that test bench is written like this. Okay. So, here this design is operating with negative edge of the clock. At negative edge of the clock, Q will be updating. So with respect to this design is concerned, the values of reset and Q we need to predict, uh, we need to analyze at T is equal to 21 nanoseconds. Okay. Here you can observe in the test bench, clock will be starting with 0 and forever as 10, clock will be not off clock. Means clock will be generated like this, start with 0 and it is changing its values for every 10 time minutes. Here it is 10 and then it will be 20 and then it is 30 like this, it is 40 and so on. So at 21 time minutes in the sense, at this particular time, what actually my Q is, we need to find out. Here you can observe, this is uh, the timing diagram, clock is equal to 0, then 1, 0 like that. At time is equal to 21, at this particular time interval, you can observe here, uh, it is indicating the values where reset will be 0 and Q becomes 1, 0, 1 is the correct answer. In the next question, we need to find reset and Q again at 32 nanoseconds. At 32 nanoseconds means here is my 32 nanoseconds 
of time uh, simulation time here reset will be 0 and q is 1 that's why 0 1 is the answer and then next question we need to find again reset and q at t is equal to 50 nanoseconds at 50 nanoseconds here uh, here reset is 1 and q is 0 you can observe this uh, uh, timing diagram where reset is 1 and q is 0 at 50 time minutes that's why 1 0 is the output this is how uh, we can solve the simulation time questions with respect to the test bench is concerned